in order to put on tefillin, which are these prayer boxes that we put on our arm and our forehead, normally we do not talk during the process, but today I'm going to talk so we can learn how to do it. First thing we put on is the talit. We hold it in front of us, say the blessing, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Kirishanu B'mitzvotav, Vitzivanu Lehitatev, Batzitzit. I kiss the two sides of this little decorative part, the Atara, and I wrap it around myself. If you have a big talit, you probably need to lift the sides up over your shoulders. And the next part we put on is the feeling box for the arm, the bite shell yad. And we undo the strap, and this is the one that has the very long strap. We put it so that the loop of the strap goes through your, your arm goes through the loop of the strap, and the strap is up. See how the strap is up? If the strap is on the downside, gravity is working against you and it'll keep falling down. Most times you'll have plenty of extra strap, so you may want to do one or two times here above the elbow. And then from the elbow to the wrist, we do it seven times. You try to keep it as tight as you can without turning your fingers purple, and they seem to be about an inch apart. And we say the blessing for putting it on our arm. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav, B'tzivanu Lehaniach Tefillin, which literally is, blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who makes us holy with your commandments, and commands us to tie it on the tie the tefillin. Then we put the bayit shel rosh, the head box, on, and we put it so it's right in front of your forehead, in the middle, with the strap, try to keep the strap with the black part showing, and the side straps coming down across your chest. Um, if the head does not fit properly, then bring it to the cantor or the rabbi, and we may need to retie it. You're not going to be able to untie the knot yourself easily to, to redo it for your head. And we say the second blessing. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kinishanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu al mitzvat tefillin. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who has made us holy with your commandments, commands us on the mitzvah of tefillin. Now comes the hardest part for most people, and that's what to do with the fingers. So first we have one strap across the middle part of your, the back of your palm. Then we're going to take the strap and do it three times on the middle finger, and we say the first of three sentences. The eras tichli le'olam. And I will betroth you, I will marry you for me forever. Then we take it and do it over these two middle fingers. And you say the second sentence. The eras tichli le'tzedek, then you go from the fourth finger to make like a V on the back of your palm, and then to make like the letter Shin. The erastichli, the emuna, the adaat, et adonai. And any that's left over, you put over that middle part of the Shin, and pick any little bit at the end. So we have the letter Sheen, the letter Dalit, the letter Yud, which is one of God's names, which is Shaddai. To remove the tefillin, we do everything in the reverse order. We take off the hand part 
and just leave it loosely in your hand. Then we take off the one from the head, and then you take off the rest of the straps from the arm. It's pretty hard to learn, but when you do it a whole bunch of times, you'll get very used to it. And if you are left-handed, you do it on your right arm, and the knot needs to be switched, switched over on the top of the, uh, the arm part. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask your rabbi or cantor, and we wish you good luck learning to put on tefillin.